weighted butterfly stretch. So here you're going to need two weights, preferably around 5 to 10 kilos. And I'm trying to firstly get my bum as far into the corner of the wall and the floor as possible. Bring my feet in so the soles of my feet touch. And they're trying to externally rotate. So it's almost like the outside blade of your foot is trying to press down. And the inside of your foot, the sole is trying to open up towards the roof. So the weights go on the knees. Here I'm passive and then I'm contracting and squeezing the knees in. I want to be as relaxed as possible, almost like you're trying to uh, squeeze your glutes to bring your knees towards the floor and then turn on those adductors and hip flexors to bring the weights up. Now, if you don't have heavy weights, what you can do is push down into the knees or if you've got small weights, you can rest your hands on top like I'm doing and then push your hands into the weights to make it heavier. So... Um, basically you just go through contracting and relaxing. So with the relaxing, I'm trying to really let it go, trying to breathe, trying to let it go as much as possible. And then I'm really trying to squeeze on the way up. Like it might look like I'm just kind of bringing the knees together, but I'm trying to contract them as hard as I can so I can get as much lift, almost touching my knees together and then letting the, it completely go. So you would just repeat this over and over again. The time that you spend in the relaxed position can increase as you go through the movements. It'll feel nicer the further you go. So just play around and see how it feels for you. Ideally, you're adding more weight over time, trying to get as heavy as possible. See, now I'm using heaps of resistance with my hands and I'm starting to really push down with my hands to get that end range as far as possible.